forget to subscribe! It's been a few days since Bororo and Krong got back from the dinosaur world. They entered through a book, and Bororo dreams every night of the dinosaur friends that they met. Ragio. <laughs> Brachio, stop it! It tickles! <laughs> hey! Oh, come on! You're tickling me! Huh? Uh, a dream? It was all just a dream! Krong, why are you sleeping in my bed? <laughs> Like her, but then again, maybe I haven't. Oh! The micro raptor hurriedly climbed the big tree as if it had just seen something. The micro raptor had sharp claws and it climbed very fast. <laughs> wow, look at that! It reached the top of the tree already! But what's he doing that for? Hold on! Do you think it's Pororo and Krong 
looked up hopefully at the micro raptor, who sat high above them in the treetop. Suddenly, the micro raptor stretched its whole body flat and jumped up high with all its might. The micro raptor glided from tree to tree with ease. When he saw a lizard, he pounced. And it was a successful hunt. I got it! <laughs> oh, it was just something for you to eat. But then, when you saw that lizard, why didn't you just fly straight to it? Why did you climb to the top of the tree? <laughs> do you think I'm some kind of a bird just because I have these wings? What I do is glide through the air from high up places, but I can't fly into the air from the ground. Oh, I think I get it. So you're like a flying squirrel. I read in a book that flying squirrels also spread their bodies out to glide from tree to tree. Wrong. Uh, uh, a flying what? What's that? Well, I think that does sound a little like me. <laughs> well, I can glide slowly down from high places very easily. All thanks to these. These are thick feathers on my front and back legs. The micro raptor spread its dark, shiny wings for Bororo and the gang to see. My feathers. I saw a dinosaur earlier. I think that this dinosaur was looking for an egg it lost. You did? Who was it? And where? If you go this way along this road, it'll lead to a river at the edge of the forest. I think it was near there. Oh, wow. Thank you. Go, Pong. Pong, Pong, come on. <laughs> Goodbye, Ben. I hope you find Pong Pong's mom and dad very, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs> The micro raptor waved and said goodbye to Pororo, Krong, and baby Pong Pong. Then the three of them walked toward the edge of the forest, hoping to find the dinosaur. Just then, they heard the thump, thump, the thumping sound of the footsteps. Oh, goodness. Babies, why are you all out here? It's dangerous to be out and about. Let's get back to our nest quickly. <laughs> A huge dinosaur suddenly appeared. Could this dinosaur be Pong Pong's mother? Dino Bororo! See you all in the next episode! <laughs> <laughs>